this is your girl Jane Michelle from this curvy girl's life and today I am showing you guys I'm giving you guys my review and demo on the hourglass vanish stick foundation so this is what I have on my face now and I want to be able to show it to you guys so if you want to see what I think of the hourglass vanishing stick foundation then please keep watching so we are going to get started with our hourglass demo and then I'll go into a review afterwards. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This primer has actually been my go-to for quite a while and so I'm really going to put this around my nose, forehead, and around my mouth. That's where I feel like I need it most. And I'm just gonna blend it outwards. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is their Vanish Foundation, and this is in the color Chestnut. So what I like to do is I like to just add like a few strips of foundation all over the face. I'll then buff it out with a Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush, and then I will buff it out with a Beauty Blender. And I'm going in a patting motion, but I'm also kind of blending outward. Now what I like about the foundation is it is called vanishing and so it does settle really well into my skin. I believe that this is more light to medium coverage and so if I want a little bit more coverage in certain areas I will go back in in those areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage so right now I'm going to go under my eye I'm gonna do a little bit more on the forehead and I think that's it maybe around the mouth a little bit but that's all I'm going to do once again, I'm gonna go back in with my Real Techniques Expert sponge, I mean, brush. So now to buff everything out, I am going in with my Real Techniques sponge and I'm really gonna just bounce this all over the face to really just blend everything else nicely. And this is damp. So this is the finished look of the foundation and I am going to put on the rest of my face and when I get back I'll finish giving you guys my full review on the Hourglass Vanish, Vanish? the hourglass vanish foundation in chestnut okay so i want to give you guys a full review on the hourglass vanishing foundation stick so just to give you a little bit of information about it i actually did pick mines up from sephora and the cost for this at sephora is 46 dollars it does seem to go a very long way let me tell you a little bit about it and then I'll go more into what I personally think. So it's a long wearing foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, a fluidity of a liquid and weightless weightlessness of a powder for invisible full coverage um, it says it's a foundation and concealer in one vanish foundations concentrated formula is infused with the double amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage in one application the long wear waterproof formula provides 12 hours 12 hour coverage and the innovative formula adjusts to your body temperature to effortless <laughs> 
effortlessly blend into the skin. Encased in a unique triangular bullet for precise application along the contours of the face. It can be used to contour and highlight. It, um, it features an array of shades and is designed specifically to be used with Vanish Foundation Brush for more seamless foundation. Um, it, this is made without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. I know I'm saying that wrong. Um, yeah, so what I can say is on the website, it does say that it's full coverage, but as you saw in the video, I think it blends out. I do agree. It blends out beautifully. It just, it, I think it has a really great, just flawless look on the skin. However, I personally don't think it's full coverage. I feel like if it's in order for me to get full coverage, I kind of have to put a lot of it on, at least a lot in the sense. Sorry, that's my dog scratching. Um, at least a lot in the sense of um, putting, you know, you saw that I did the lines. I would have to do a lot more. As you saw in the video, I did go back in around my mouth and around under my eyes. And that's actually where um, I have the, that's where my skin is the darkest on my face. So, you know, I would honestly say that when you're first putting this on, I feel like it's more of a medium coverage, even though the website is saying it is a full coverage stick. I do agree the triangular shape works out really well to kind of get like under the eye, to get the contour areas, things like that. I love the shape. Regardless of the um, full coverage to medium coverage thing, I think it's definitely worth it. I love the fact that I can use a little bit and get a light coverage and then build upon that to get more of a full coverage look. I think that it wears really well. I do agree this is probably one of my favorite foundations in the fact that it does last for hours. Um, you know, during my time of wearing this, before I wanted to give you guys a review, I wore this to work several times and you know, I'm working, I leave my house at 7 a.m. in the morning and I usually don't get back home until about 6.30. So that's usually a 12 hour day and I rarely have to go in and touch up. I may, for me, I do get kind of like the smile line. So I may go in and just kind of blend or touch that area up. But for the most part, I did not have to touch this up at all all i love 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 this foundation so if you're looking for full coverage at least for me i would probably say this isn't for me this isn't full coverage i feel like it's medium coverage but i feel like if you do want to get that full coverage i feel like you're going to go through the stick a lot quicker because you're going to be applying a lot more um what i do love about this it does say that you know it was formulated to use with their brush i use my real technique expert face brush and it, I think it works out wonderfully um, as you saw in the video it just buffs it out really nice and then I go back in with the beauty sponge just to kind of blend everything together so if I am to give this honestly a 1 to 10 rating I am gonna say honestly I'm gonna say probably I'll give it a 9 for me and I'm gonna say a 9 because I don't agree with the whole full coverage thing I feel like you'll go through this stick a lot faster if you're really I think you I feel like you'll have to apply a lot Lot more to get full coverage but I feel like the coverage is great the blendability is great the color payoff is great the fact that they have a shade that I don't have to mix and it gives me my shade I love that and um, I also am giving it a nine because it is forty six dollars and you are getting um, let's see for forty six dollars you're getting 0.25 ounces of product um, so I feel like that's not a whole lot of product but um, I love how it looks and how it finishes on my face so I absolutely love this I'm giving this a 9 for me and like I said the reason I didn't give it a 10 is because it does say it's full coverage I don't necessarily agree with that I think it's more light to medium coverage and then um, the price is $46 for 0.25 ounces I feel like that may be a little pricey for foundation where you're only getting 0.25 ounces but overall the blendability the color last all day it's probably one of my definitely one of my top favorite foundations to wear so I I hope this review and demo was helpful if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give me a big thumbs up and until the next video deuces